Welcome to Gualala. Hey everybody, so I'm here in Guadalajara, California, and I'm heading, I'm walking towards a, a little beach called Hearns Gulch, Gulch, I think that's how you pronounce it, so it's really just a small beach, small sand, um, there's a Lava rock formations on the side of the uh, uh, the the cliffs, and a big piece of land or rock, I want to say, uh, in the middle, or to the left of the uh, the beach. And right now I'm uh, hiking down this small trail. Uh, check the tide. So, it doesn't look like I'll get washed away or get hurt by the waves. Or see I die from it. So, definitely want to be careful when you do any of these seascape type photographs. Do your research. Know where you're going. And uh, watch for warning signals warning signs and most importantly respect the ocean you are not stronger than the ocean so I want to show you right now this path I'm about to go to and check out this sign right here see that caution steep path to beach proceed at your own risk I'm not a good swimmer, so just rain too. Um, so it looks a little, a little wet. So hopefully I don't get no slippage, and if I do, that's gonna suck. So my goal here is to, like I said, get a good sunset. Not quite sure if I said that earlier, but uh. Here showing you the path to the beach. Not as steep yet, but I see some ropes. Definitely gonna have to utilize that. Oh, some steps, so not too bad. But no time to show off or be boastful, so definitely be careful. And uh, here I go. Okay, so walking down, trying to be careful here, holding on to the ropes, not as young as I used to be, so I have to be careful, if I slip, if I fall, break my neck, break my head, I love my head, wouldn't want that, oh! Wow, this is beautiful. Sun is uh, sun is shining over that center rock right there. Preferably, I would love to have a sunburst shooting right through that hole. But uh, going to my app again, I use the photographer's ephemeris. Can never pronounce that. The sun will actually shine that way. See? Right there. 
but nevertheless it looks like I'm gonna get a good shot here so I uh, look around for a little bit and try to frame my my sunset So, it's about 7.30ish um, in the evening. Uh, I've got a lot of time. Uh, always get here early, prep, do your research before you come to your site that you want to shoot. And then, you know, if it's a seascape, make sure you check the tides, be safe. You know, don't, don't be a hero. Um, and try to, you know, pretend that that you can beat the the ocean. It's not worth it. So I'm gonna go look around for a bit and uh, see what I can shoot. Okay, so um, let me walk you through what I'm doing right now. I think um, right now I have the uh, the uh, 25 mil millimeter uh, lens, and uh, I think I'll do one tight shot with this lens, um, and then switch to the um, the 55 millimeter. And you know, I just want to capture all this this scenery. So. I think I'll uh, use this 55 and do uh, a panorama. I don't do a panorama that much. Um, I did one with the, the Buttes uh, episode not too long ago. But um, I just don't want to miss out on all this scenery. Once in a lifetime experience for me. So might as well capture as much as I could. Um, I'm also going to be playing with different uh, angles. Um, positions, go low, go high, maybe do a, a tight um, portrait shot of just this, the left side of this uh, gulch, and then, um, and I'll definitely be using a ND filter, not only to uh, add more interest to the sky, but uh, use a, um, a longer uh, shutter speed to slow down the water and uh, get that soft, milky uh, looking um, shot. First I'll be using um, uh, ND uh, 10 stop and then maybe, um, I don't know, 3 stop, 4 stop, I haven't decided yet. Uh, I don't want to have too much of a smooth look. I want to vary it a little, add some texture to see why, what look works the best, you know? So. At the moment, I have, uh, like I said, the 25 millimeter, and uh, over there, right on the right side, uh, I hope to capture some crashing waves at the same time in, in one of these shots. Hear that? Man, it's like a bang, a boom. It's beautiful. So I hope to capture some of those crashing waves. That'd be sweet. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the light. Uh, should should be shouldn't be long. A uh, few more minutes. Get some glow in the skies and uh, some some uh, glow in the rocks as well. So, yep, won't be long now. Gotta watch the tides too. The uh, water seems to be coming up pretty close. So definitely gotta watch for that. Just in case for any rogue waves that may hit. So, okay, do. Okay, so 
the light is about to uh, show up in the rocks as you can tell um, there's some light hitting those uh, the cliff side over there and then some light on right on the, the center um, uh, um, island and then right on the far right you see far right right there that's where the sunset is going to happen and it's already hitting some parts of that rock down there so got my fence top uh, neutral density circular circular uh, filter so when the just a few more minutes when the light um, gets a little bit a uh, little brighter a little more glow on the rocks um, and I'm going to use this slow down the water get that milky soft smooth shot and right now I still have the 25 millimeter lens on I'll take um, a shot with that using this and then I'm going to switch to the 55 millimeter um, I'll be using a polarizer for that instead uh, or maybe a, maybe an 8 stop I haven't decided yet uh, neutral density filter so one or the other but uh, I'll play around a little bit with that and, and see what shoots uh, gets, gets shot the best uh, there's hoping for more light Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, always make a habit to clean your lens, especially when you're in the beach, all the salt and the sand hits the lens, that's uh, extra stuff you don't want to have on your post-production and spend time just erasing, so do it, do it once the fir uh, right the first time uh, on camera, so don't forget your, your cleaning kit. Okay, so I kind of screwed up there earlier, my last shot, I uh, lost the light, man, light go quick, so you just got to time it right, but uh, ironically, I had better light uh, before sunset, so I should have shot something there, I was just hoping that something magical will happen right after the sun sets, but uh, just completely lost it. Oh well, at least I got some decent shots from this trip. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, bye-bye.